Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Void. I'm Player One, and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Mox. <laughs> yes, indeed. Today, we are going back to Wi-Fi puzzles. I feel that it's been a sufficient amount of time after the previous one, so I'm going to do more. Let's see how many I can do. We still got, uh, how many we still got? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I thought there was more. Huh. Well, it looks like this is gonna be the last one. Uh, so let's go. The cleaning robot. Scientists in a research lab have built a robot to clean the halls. Because the robot isn't quite complete yet, all the turns it makes can either be all left or all right. Okay. The scientist wants to give the robot a route so it cleans all the halls without cleaning any section twice. Can move through each intersection up to two times. Circle the point where the robot should start. Okay. Okay. It can either turn all left or all right. So if it starts here... Oh, this is going to confuzzle my brain. Oh, joy. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Well, I would assume it'd have to be A, because the other ones, you know, there's a bunch of other... I don't know, hang on. Okay, so there. Am I, am I thinking wrong on what it means by the turns it makes can either be all left or all right? I think, uh, I think I am. So let's say it starts here and it's going straight. So this is a left turn. But then, wouldn't this be a right turn? Am I am I thinking wrong here? Or does it only matter when it's a uh, intersection? Because like now, you would have to do this. So then, let's try this. So he's going straight. So right turn. And then right turn. And then right turn? Is am I thinking right here? Either way, I don't think it can be B. Huh. Well, ain't this a doozy for a first one? Okay, let me think about this. He's going straight, right? Goes left. Has to keep going this way. And so then this is left. So he goes here. And then he goes this left. And then this way. And then he can't turn that way, so he keeps going. 
and then left and left so I, I guess it can't be A, I would assume. I think it has to be one of these three. You know, it doesn't say anything about him just going straight. He doesn't have to turn at all the intersections. So let me just try this. Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on. Wait, actually... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. I wasn't even... I wasn't even trying that hard, but there you go. That's... It's E. There you go. And now to test my theory. Okay, good. I didn't have to resort to just trying all the options. There you, there you go. Nice. That one puzzle took about 10 minutes. Oh boy. Cracking the code. All right. Find the four number code that opens the safe. You can use the numbers 0 through 5 in your answer, but each number can be used only once. The small lights next to each row of numbers are the key to finding the code, as they tell you how much in common that row has with the final code. Each white light indicates a number that matches one in the code, but is a different place. An orange light indicates a number in the correct code in the correct spot. So it's Wordle. Okay. Okay. Let's figure this out. Well, obviously, it's something here. Okay, so does this mean there's there's two correct, but one's in the right spot, and then one's just not? Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh joy. So, no matter what, if I understand this correctly, if there's- if these all four are correct, three, one, zero, and two have to be in the sequence. So I can ignore all the fours and fives, right? So, one of these is correct, and then these three have to go somewhere else. So... I believe zero is correct. Thanks to this one right here. Three is the first one. Oh no, hang on. Oh, hang on. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Okay, 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 okay. It has to have these four. So five and four do not matter. 
So two and three, one of these is in the right spot. Three and zero, one of these is in the right spot. One of these is in the right spot. And zero and two, one of these is in the right spot. Okay. Okay, so three and one, neither of these go here. They have something here, but one of these is right. So that means zero has to go second, and two has to go last. Okay, so that means one has to go first, and three has to go here. Right? 1032, come on. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. It. Okay. It's kind of a hard puzzle. Yeah. yeah a, a little bit. A little, little, little tiny bit. Oh, man. Three more. Crazy dice. There are two dice. A and B. The pictures show each die from two different angles. Maybe the dice maker was up to no good, but the dots on each face are all completely random. You can see all the faces here, so no matter how you roll each die, if you added together the numbers visible on the two top faces, the highest number you could get would be 9. Knowing this, what is the lowest number you could get if you rolled the dice and added up the numbers visible on the two top faces? The lowest number? Hmm. The, the lowest number, okay. Well, I would assume if the lowest of A is 1 and the lowest on B is is 3, then then 4, right? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? This should do the trick. I'm stupid. Okay, good to know. Uh, well. I suppose you can't win them all. Good thing these don't give picarats. Okay, so then how am I thinking of this? Highest number you could get would be nine. Five and four. Yeah. So then how is how is the lowest number not four? Because the lowest thing here is a, a three. Huh. Maybe I'm being tricked. Maybe it's a little trick of the, the thing. Maybe I'm not seeing all the sides here. Huh. This puzzle is a bit mean. Thanks for the hint, game. Wonderful hint. I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna say there's an just a straight empty face. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, I guess I was right. Yeah, that is a bit mean. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. That's right, the dice don't have to be lined up like they are in the picture. That's fucking stupid. That's stupid. Come on, game, you're better than that. No one's doing that. That's- oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Number tiles. Second to last one. Let's see. Rearrange the three tiles so that they display a number divisible by 43. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, alright. Well, I can already tell you. Let me, let me see. Can I? Yes. It will most definitely involve a 9. 
So... Number divisible by 43. Well, technically, it's it's any number. You'll just get a decimal. All right, let's do 912. No. Let's do 921. No. Okay. Let's do 291. Let's do... 129. It's 129. You get three. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I could all I could already tell. Consider this puzzle solved. I could already tell once they gave me a six. A I'm flipping that. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. There you are. Okay, well. About halfway through the episode, we've got one more puzzle. Oh, joy! The bus is route. Let's let's uh, let's go. Oh no! A very large bus approaches a town. Since the streets of this town are so narrow, the bus can only turn at corners where there are no buildings, and then only in the direction the corner allows. The bus, the bus arrives from the south, so can you find the shortest route? It wants to exit to the east. Okay. So does that mean it has to do that? Is that is that not the shortest route? This should do the trick. No. Okay, yeah, folks, we'll buckle well, in, because I think we might be more. here a while. Drive until you hit a wall, then turn right. Keep going until you hit a wall. And it's up to you, it puzzles out. Okay, hang on. Drive... Until you hit a wall? Then turn right. Then you hit a wall. Is it? Eh? Consider this puzzle solved. I, I don't think I understood what well, that hint told me. I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. I. Hmm. Okay. Drive until you hit a wall, then turn right. Keep going until you hit a wall. Drive until you hit a wall. Then turn right till you hit a wall. I don't... I don't get it. How is... How is this not the answer? Bus can only turn at corners where there are no buildings. And you know, at the baha, is it like this? Is it like that? What's what's up there? I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell this puzzle is meant to be. I... I must be stupid. I'm, I must, I must, I must be stupid. So 
so it has it has to start with this right i think you can i think you can turn here And then, uh, 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 I don't fucking know. I think you can do that, and then do that. And then, I don't know. And then I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because I'm just trying to get here, right? So then I can go burn. So is it not just that? Is it that? Please let it just be that. And now to test my theory. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I did oh, not want to do that wonderful. one anymore. Great. The bus can also go in reverse. So if it drove forward as a map B, Backed up around the corner and then exited. That would actually. No one, no one would think of that. No one would think of that because that map, that whole route road is stupid. Um. Well, there you go. That's uh. That's all the Wi-Fi puzzles. Nice. No achievement because uh. This this version is not linked to the achievements. For some reason. Uh, but there you go. Wi-Fi puzzles are done. Very nice. And we still have a little bit left, so I'm going to take this opportunity to go back into the main game. And I th I'm pretty sure Granny has some puzzles for us. Um, so just gonna go quickly do that. I will meet you there. All right, hello, Granny. Hello, how many do you have for me? Two. Okay. Number 63, numbered cards. Cards labeled one through six are arranged in order shown below. Rearrange them though they satisfy the following conditions. Okay. The sum of the numbers on the top row must be one less than the sum of the numbers on the bottom row. So we're adding. Okay. The two cards in the right column must add up to five. The five card must be to the immediate left of the four card. And the one card must be placed in the left column. Okay. All right. I can figure this out. So the one card can only be in these two slots. So let's try with this first. The five must be to the immediate left of the four, which means that the four can't be in the left column because then the five can't be to the left of it. You, you, you know what I, you know what I mean? So the four can be in these two slots. Can we also? Yes, we can do that. Oh joy. But the two cards in the right column must add up to five. So I think that has to be two and three. Those are the only two that would add up to five other than one and four, but one is in the left column. So two and three must be in the right column. Okay. And then, yeah, four can't be up there. And five has to be to the left of... Okay. I think this is basically almost it. So this adds up to nine. This adds up to twelve. Wait a minute. This is ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's this. There you go. Here goes. All right. That was almost too easy. Right you are, Luke. 
Yeah, there you are. There you are. I like that kind of puzzle. That's a good kind of puzzle. Hamster toy. Oh boy. And now we have 115 tricky digits. Hmm. 40. Oh, big old 40. Two cards sit on a table. Each has a different single digit number written on it. When set side by side, they form a two digit number. Then by flipping their order, you can make another two digit number. Adding the total from these two two digit numbers gives you one of the totals shown below. Okay. Okay, this should be this should be easy. You just got to take all the combinations of all the, all the combinations of numbers. So if it was 1 and 1, it'd be 22. It's not that. If it was 1 and 2, then you got 12 and 21. So that'd be 33. It's not 1 and 2. Do 1 and 3. Be 44. Um, it's, it's, it's that. There you go. Consider this puzzle solved. Damn, that was simple. That was the third combination I tried. Puzzle unsolved. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yep. Hey, uh, there you go. Alright, well, thank you for the puzzles, Granny. Thank you very much. And now, we have a little thingy for Mr. Biggie Cheese. So let me go see how that's working. So what is this? Surprise box. When the hamster draws near, this item bursts open, surprising the hamster and causing him to run back the way he came until he bumps into something. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so let me just see this. Oh, my spare tie is gone! To see, uh, what works so far. So he goes, da 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 he goes down. goes down and then there and then there okay so then what if I just put the box there right I'm not so good at moving that stuff. that should work and then he'll go all the way to the right right There you are! 27! Oh yes! I'm feeling mighty fine! You're looking mighty fine, Biggie. I can't even call you that no more. Now he's a jock! Whoa! Okay. And then the last goal is 30, and then he'll be shlimmy shlim. Very cool. Very cool. How many items are we missing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're only missing two items. Okay. Well, the hamster minigame is almost done. Very cool. And, uh, yeah. I think with that... I'll end it there. It's very nice to, once in a while, just get all the little side stuff done. So that means no more Wi-Fi puzzle episodes, because there, there are none. So now we have no excuse to just blast through the rest of the game. Trust me, the game will end soon. At some point. We're like, uh, we're almost done with this mini game. The camera's already done. The, the diary scares me. They're still quite a bit there. But, you know, we're sitting at 73 puzzles done. There's only like 150, I think. 
150 something. We're on chapter 5, there's only 7 chapters. I'm thinking the game's, you know, close to done a little bit. Uh, so, so yeah. And folks, I'll give you a little sneak peek for the beautiful people who stayed till the end of the video. Once we finish Layton, we've already chosen the next game. We've chosen the next game series. Oh yes. So stay tuned when we finish Layton because we got a big ol' big ol' juicy thing to show you. But of course that will come when we finish this, which won't be for a little bit. But anyway, I've been player one. And I'll see you next time when we continue on with the story. And we go to that nasty bulldog with a diaper on. Yuck. Alright. Bye bye.